website, uh, reports of a shooting at that Connecticut school, which is located in the southwestern part of the state. And we've confirmed that from police spokesman Lieutenant Paul Vance. We have crews on the way to the scene. Our affiliates have crews on the way to the scene as well. Uh, we also have a reporter in New York who is following this for us, and we'll get that reporter to you as well on the other side of this break. Don't go away. Breaking news here on CNN. CNN is that Connecticut State Police have responded to reports of a shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. It is in the Newtown School District in uh, the southwestern part of Connecticut. First pictures coming in right now. Let's put them up. You see the police tape in front. And you see also emergency people in the background there, a fire truck on your left, fire and rescue. So it appears through these pictures another confirmation that something is going on uh, at this elementary school in Newtown. Uh, this picture, courtesy of our affiliate WCCT, and again, we have very few details about this shooting. It's just that there were reports uh, for police to come out. Uh, because of some sort of disturbance or shooting at the school, obviously police, investigators, fire department all go rushing out to the school and finding what they found, and we don't have the information of what they have found yet. Uh, there are other reports published and otherwise that are saying that the school district is on lockdown. The school district is on lockdown right now. Newton Police spokesman is telling now, CNN has confirmation, uh, our New York desk, that police at Sandy Hook Elementary School responded to that shooting and the school is now on lockdown and the kids are not being evacuated. The kids are not being evacuated from this school. So again, uh, we are getting new information now coming in. These are the first pictures that are coming in from the school. We don't know if there are any injuries in this. We don't know the details behind the shooting. Uh, what type of gun, if at all, gun was found, who the suspect is, uh, if it's a student or otherwise. We don't know the details. But again, when we do get reports like this, we all cringe. Uh, because it's the last thing you want to see happen at any business or any home, and especially at an elementary school, when we know the ages of the, the people who are involved. And we send our kids off to school every single day here in this country, hoping that they will be in the best hands. And then, sadly, from time to time, these terrible situations do crop up. But again, we're learning that, that this school is on lockdown. Uh, CNN has confirmed that they are not evacuating the students from the school. Uh, emergency personnel are there. Others are still being rushed there. Our affiliates are on the way to the school, as well as CNN crews and personnel on the way to the school as well. Uh, just to give you an idea, you've been seeing the map there. As the, the only thing we know is that it is in the southwestern part of Connecticut. And if you guys, I'm sort of here in a bubble by myself, if you can tell me exactly where, how close uh, we are to any major...